get me uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Cros Crosby Noise, please, of yes. the Washington Star. Yes, sir. Hello. Mr. Crosby Noise. Hello. Mr. President. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. I don't have anything of earth-shaking importance enough for your column, but uh, I thought you'd be interested to know that uh, most of your readers would be more interested in this, I'm afraid, than what I say on international affairs or you say in your column. I noticed the Star had an editorial about our pandas. Yes. And I think you'd be interested to know that I just told uh, Ziegler at the morning briefing so that it could make the afternoon edition of the Star that Mrs. Nixon and I decided that the pandas should go to the National Zoo. Oh, that's very now, good news indeed. I, I think you should know, too, that uh, we've, as you can imagine, the requests from over the country, the, the San Diego has a splendid zoo, St. Louis, yes. New York, Chicago, and the rest. But we, uh, the, basically, the uh, this is the place for them from the standpoint, first, it's a national sure. zoo rather than a local one. Second, and this was the, the key thing, the reason we were waiting on it, the key thing is climate. The, the, the panda, of course, we, we want to be sure they don't come over and die, and we find that the Washington climate is somewhat more mild than, than their usual habitat, but but nevertheless cold enough, for we think, for what they are. So, yeah. so in any event, you, you're going to get the you're going to get the pandas. We're going to get both of them. Yeah. That's oh yes. That's now, as a matter of fact, uh, let me tell you an interesting thing about that. You you must not. <laughs> you can you can only use it on your own if you want. Uh, and went on and on. But I just talking to Rob Haldeman, who talked to his Chinese hosts, and this question of mating is very interesting. These are this is a male and a female. Uh -huh. The problem with the, the problem, however, with pandas is that they don't know how to mate. The only way they learn how is to watch other pandas mate. You see, <laughs> and so they're keeping them there a little while. These are younger ones to <laughs> sort of learn, you know, how it's done. Learn the now, if they don't learn it, they'll get over here. Nothing will happen. So uh, I just thought you should should have your best reporter out there to see whether well, these pandas will. have learned. So now that I've given you the story of pandas, let me get, let you get back to your more serious questions. <laughs> How soon are they arriving? Sir? April first. Uh -huh. uh, when uh, when we uh, we think about April first, I just asked Ziegler, and uh, he, and you know, everything is shrouded in mystery even when the pandas arrive. And of course, as you know, the head of the Nationals who took the muskos can oxen over, and we're trying to work it out. Although I don't know whether he's bringing them back or whether somebody else is, but. Uh, so there they are. But I can imagine that that zoo will get the biggest play in, yes, in history. It will. Everybody wants to see those. Big deal. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. But I just want you to know we do pay attention to the editorials of the Star. <laughs> now and then. I'm glad to learn. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bordai calls himself the Prime Minister of the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic, the, the breakaway republic in eastern Ukraine. It's not clear how he got that title or, or why he feels he deserves it, he is a, a Moscow public relations guy. He's a communications expert. It's all clouded in, in a great deal of mystery because, uh, you know, he admits with a wink and a 